What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. She's talking about Prey in this video here again today, aka Predator 5. Now, I saw some people in the comment section and some other people just questioning if this movie was rated R or not. Now, I'll go over what is officially out on the Hulu press site because again, this movie is going straight to Hulu on August 5th. I know many people saw the leaked footage and were like, oh, this looks like it could be a theatrical release. Some people even thought that off of the teaser. This movie very well looks like it is theatrical release worthy. It's just unfortunately not going to be that. So as you see here on your screen, there is a rating for the movie that does indeed say rated r there's also a synopsis that's a little bit more updated than the one that i was reading to you from last year when this movie was discovered with the working title of skull and all the other casting call details were comprised to make that synopsis so it says here set in the comanche nation of 300 years ago Prey is the story of a young woman, Naru, a fierce and highly skilled warrior. She has been raised in the shadow of some of the most legendary hunters who roam the Great Plains. So when danger threatens her camp, she sets out to protect her people. The prey she stalks and ultimately confronts turns out to be a highly evolved alien predator with a technical technically advanced arsenal resulting in a vicious and terrifying showdown between the two adversaries now reading this this sounds a lot more digestible than the one before in the last video i just did where you have mentions of her being a tomboy going against gender norms stuff like that when you just allow your film to speak for itself that is the best way to give off the messages because of the fact that when you become too forceful in your presentation before the movie is already out that's how a lot of people end up in that mindset oh this is going to be woke and you know certain aspects of what people consider woke they're not new to the horror genre they're not new to filmmaking there's always been some type of political stuff always in movies I can say that, yes, movies today might be a little bit more forceful and less subtle with what they want to address. But a female empowerment narrative in a Predator movie, it again all comes down to how are you going to depict it on screen? If you are depicting to us a movie in which you have a woman in a scenario where she is going to just prove that she is just as worthy to participate in what the men are participating in, I see nothing wrong with that. However, the dialogue along the way can be what rocks the boat for some people. If your dialogue is riddled with things that are screaming Black Christmas 2019, that is where I can see where some people are going to have a problem. As far as, you know, just what we've all already gotten his bits of dialogue from the from the footage that leaked it doesn't seem like this is going to be very forceful with its narrative in terms of beating you over the head with the fact that these men are inferior and the woman is superior as much as it is going to yes try to tell a narrative in which this woman just wants to show that she can do everything that the men around her can do which i see nothing wrong with there's countless stories like that already the problem people have though is how again when you have wordings like tomboy breaking gender norms and how it's being just coming out in a climate in which everything seems like it's about virtue signaling through art and all these other things people will then pinpoint stuff and say oh that's woke that's woke that's woke that's woke that's woke so it's like okay i see where you're coming from but until i see the movie I'm not completely sold that we're going to get a force forcefully fed narrative about strong women. I think we're just going to have a decently told movie that is about a woman proving that she can stand on her own with a male dominated society. <laughs> That's literally all I think we're going to get so far. I will come on here and tell you if I felt that the dialogue was a little bit forceful with its intent regarding propelling her to a certain status over the men. I will come on here and tell you that so far. I don't feel like we're getting that. And it doesn't seem like they're going to kill all the men off very early because, again, the footage from that leak could have been out of order, though. So it doesn't seem like we're getting that. Um, with the regards to other aspects of this movie, could we have a female predator in the sense that what you could have revealed in this interaction between Naru and the and the predator that she'll of course end up being entangled with is that this is a female predator i know because i'm someone who actually plays that new predator game or not new it came out recently predator hunting grounds uh, i believe they also had recently just introduced a female predator there i know female predators have had their mentions in some of the comics and other arts related to predator 
in the films though for the most part i think they've remained genderless might be wrong there i haven't watched predator recently i believe they've remained genderless but you know assigning genders again some people are going to be upset about that i you know there's a lot of things that people are just going to be upset about with this movie that really just to me i'm just like okay if assigning a gender is the biggest setback for you i would say there needs to be some reevaluating of what's what's a priority in the stuff that is criticized because if this movie is well shot has great action sequences has great cinematography a great score a lot of great tension building great direction and you know all these other components of filmmaking that are just hitting it from all cylinders but you're gonna knock it down several pegs because you had a gender assignment of a of a female predator there's i i would say that there's something wrong there because that's 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 very minuscule in in my movie critiquing mind <laughs> that's very minuscule you telling me that there's a female predator like i that's very that's like that's like bottom of the barrel in the things that i'm looking for when it comes to is this movie good or not that's bottom of the barrel now i'm not saying that your that your barrel has to be like mine <laughs> but that just seems like okay that's a little bit um low bar for me in the sense of knocking the movie down a peg because i i do see a scenario playing out where naru is battling this predator and it's revealed that it's a female predator and it tries to reel her in and try to show like because we know they hunt for sport so it tries to reel her in and say oh you've earned my respect for all you've done out here and try to you know bow to her and show that it doesn't want to fight anymore so that naru lets her guard down and then this female predator kills naru and triumphs over her this could still be again done in a way like i said in the last video you can still tell a compelling female empowerment story i would just love to see a predator come out on top in the end still though while you still successfully tell a story about a woman or woman in this nation proving that she could do just as much as what the guys were doing so we'll see what happens with with prey and again it is rated or i'll leave a link to the press release down in the description if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on notifications and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video